It was in August 1965. My family and I were invited to some friend's house near San Francisco. I remember it was a beautiful, clear day. We were driving for, for a while, and as a matter of fact, I recall looking at my watch, and it was around noontime. Uh, we continued driving, and I noticed at the distance something very bright. I was observing this for a few moments, and it, it appeared to be suspended in the air. There was no planes around, it was very clear the day, uh, there was no clouds. My family they were with me, I called to their attention, they all looked at it, they were all amazed by it. And in the meantime, there were cars going by, and I tried to attract their attention, but they were not paying attention to me, or they were driving too fast. So I recall I had my movie camera with me, and I start filming this, and as I look at it, it was getting larger, it was moving from one direction, like from towards the left and towards the right. This object was very bright, and I recall it was extremely enormous. I was just completely amazed by it. I ran out of film, then uh, uh, when I got home, I called uh, Hamilton Air Force, and I reported the sighting. The Air Force was very interested. They had asked me, as soon as I had the film developed, they would like very much to look at it. Well, I had the film developed, I look at it, there it was, very bright, quite clear, and moving very rapidly. So I captured it on, right on film. A week later, I received a letter from Hamilton Air Force Base, which reads, Dear Sir, we have received the 8mm film on which you captured what certainly seems to be a very fast-moving object in the skies over the Bay Area. The film has been forwarded to Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Ohio, where such observations are investigated. Well, several weeks went by. Finally, the Air Force returned my film. And I noticed immediately it was not the original film. It was not that clear, and the quality was very poor. For some reason, or good reason, the Air Force decided to make a copy. They kept the original, and I end up with a very poor copy. Close examination of the film returned by the Air Force reveals that it is, indeed, a print, and not the original. And while the print is very poor quality, we can still catch a tantalizing glimpse of something extraordinary in the skies over San Francisco. Watching it again, this time with the aid of a pointer, it's easier to spot the elusive thing. But to date, no one has been able to make a positive identification. No one except, possibly, the Air Force. I would imagine the film is somewhere in their file, and probably by now they forgot all about it. But I will not forget that day, the sighting itself had such profound influence in my life. Because since that time, powerful, extraordinary events has happened to me, which I have no doubt are direct results of my experience. But I, will, I can't talk about it publicly.